Good evening. Leading the news tonight, 40,000 smelt. They arrived on the back of a truck last night, all the way from Kaitangata. Ready to be released into Araroa Bay. In May, 90,000 were released, but this time round, it's been a real team effort. The Southland branch of the Salmon Anglers Club raised the money, and they're hoping it, that it won't be the last. Deborah Webb was there for the big moment. And they're off. All 40,000 of them smelt from a hatchery in Kaitangata. Last night they were released into Awarua Bay, a project that the Southland branch of the Salmon Anglers Club have been working on for 18 months. What we're trying to establish here is salmon that naturally come back into the harbour. Um, we're letting go little fish that are only 100 millimetres long, but they are meant to go away into the ocean, come back in three years' time, and we hope to catch them that are 10 pound or 20 pound or whatever they may grow to. They arrived in a specially designed tank, complete with oxygen and an oxygen monitor. It's been a passionate project. The clubs financed the release, and last night members were ready to give the smelt a last helping hand. But I'd like to see people be able to go down into Bluff Harbour, which is very close to Invercargill, and catch a fish. It was a job getting the go-ahead from Doc and Math. We had to get permission from the various bodies which is quite a rigmarole, but we did get it and we've got it twice now and we hope, we think and we know we're doing the right thing. Last night was the second release. The plan is to make it an annual event. Well, as for fishing for the future, there's fish to be caught in the, in the waters around South and people don't do it and they used to years ago and the harbour hasn't had a great lot of fish in it in the last years and if we can help in some way for people to go down the wharf and catch some fish, that's what we're trying to do. This is the second load of smolt to be put out here at Awarua Bay. In three years' time, this little fella could be 50 pounds. This is Deborah Webb for Mercury News.